From all the different AI tools available today, I think custom GPTs and Claude projects are the two most practical and useful. And in this video, I wanted to show you both of them in action. I wanted to compare both side by side. And I want to give you an idea which one would be a better fit for you. Now, first, let me just explain what each one is if you haven't used one before. And I do have dedicated videos for both of them in more detail. So I'll keep this part pretty short. Custom GPTs, they're sometimes just referred to as GPTs. What I like to think of them as is a mini version of ChatGPT to take care of a very specific tasks. So ChatGPT, that is great for general use, right? You could use it for a million different things. But custom GPTs are great because you could give them a very specific set of instructions to take care of one thing really, really well, even better than ChatGPT. The way it does that is with every GPT, which you could build inside of ChatGPT, you could give it your own set of instructions your own knowledge base with ChatGPT might not have access to, like your own documents, internal company documents. And you could also turn on different capabilities. For example, it has web browsing, which you could turn on or off. It has data analysis. It has image generation with Dolly. Now, anyone could access custom GPTs. They're available for free. And there's something called the GPT store, which is basically a massive library of GPTs that other people have created, and they are sharing those publicly. But in order to build your own, which is what I'm showing you in this video, you do need a paid version of ChatGPT. So inside of ChatGPT, in order to create one, over here on the left side, these are the ones I've created before. They'll appear over here. If you go to the Explore GPTs page, this is the GPT store. So you'll see all kinds of different GPTs that other people have created over here. Some of them are even created by OpenAI, the company behind ChatGPT. They have their own GPTs too. So they've created a ton of them that again are for a very specific use case and ChatGPT is for more general use case. But to create your own, you just press the create option if you have the paid plan. And then it will bring you to this page where you could just have a normal conversation and create yours, which I will show you in the next section where we build our own GPT and we'll build our own Claude projects as well. Once you do create it, again, if I go back to the home page, they will all appear over here. So I could go to any one of them over here and it looks like ChatGPT. I could have my prompt down here. And the other way you could use it is inside of regular ChatGPT, if you just type in the add mention sign, it's going to pull in any GPT that you've previously used and you could pull them into conversation like this. And then it will have all that instruction and knowledge base and however you built it, it's going to be able to just be used inside of the regular chat GPT, a great way to use it without jumping between multiple. Okay, so what are Claude projects? So this website, Claude.ai, Claude is a competitor to chat GPT, is their closest competitor, and they usually go back and forth on who has the better model. Right now, Claude has a model called Claude 3.5 Sonnet, is the best model available right now, beating chat GPT. But again, chat GPT will probably come up with a new model any day now, that will be Claude. They just go back and forth. So when ChatGPT released custom GPTs way back in November of 23, few months later, Claude responded with what are called projects. And projects are exactly the same as custom GPTs. The functions and the use case is the same. You build one, you give it your own set of instructions and you give it your own knowledge base and it's meant to do a very specific task better than the general version of Claude or ChatGPT. Now to create one, it's on the left side over here. You go to the projects tab and all the ones I've created are here and I could go ahead and create a project from right over here. Now Claude projects are also only available to paid subscribers. So if you don't have the paid version of Claude, you cannot build them. Now they're much harder to share though. There's no GPT store, there's no project store. Maybe they'll come up with that. But right now they're only available to be shared inside of the team's plan with other team members. ChatGPT also lets you do that with GPTs. So we have some that are shared inside of our teams. But when I build them, I'll show you some of the sharing options when we compare how to build them. Okay, now that you have a brief understanding what each one is, let's take it for a head-to-head -head test. And I wanted to show you that from scratch. The very first test I wanna show you is how easy each one is to build. So we'll build a custom GPT quickly and see how easy that is to build. And then we'll build a project from scratch, see how that is to build, and then we'll move on to our second test. Okay, instead of a paid version of ChatGPT, I'm using GPT Teams. You could go ahead and go to the Explore GPTs tab on the left side and go ahead and create yourself a GPT from right over here. I'm gonna go to the Create tab. The GPTs have two tabs. One is the Create tab, where you could build them using just plain language here, down here. Or you could go to the Configure tab 
and actually type in all this information. So you could give it a name, you could give it a logo, description, a custom instruction. This is the most important part. And obviously, if you have a knowledge base, you could go ahead and upload that here. And you have three capabilities. You could decide to turn them off. That will help with speed and things like that. Or just avoid going to the web and only being forced to use the knowledge base. Or you could keep these on. They have something called actions, which I cover in more advanced videos. So the way I recommend building these is right here from the create tab and just have a normal conversation with it. So we actually built this one. I've been using it for a while. We're trying to focus more on LinkedIn, build a GPT to turn text into LinkedIn posts. And I'll just kind of skip through the process because this just gives you back and forth conversation. And I'll just quickly scroll up to show you all the different things he asked me to do just for the sake of time. Okay, so it's done. He asked me a handful of questions and typically it comes up with a name for you. It creates a logo here using Dolly, which you could revise as much as you want to. It's gonna ask you some questions about how it should respond, if it should be informative, friendly, and I answered all the questions. And on the right side, it's ready to get tested. So here you would go ahead and do a test. And then on the left side, if you don't like how it's responding to you on the right side, this GPT builder, you could always revise your GPT. If you wanna be more advanced, if you come to the configure tab, this is the instructions that it created for itself. So you could actually create your own instructions over here. I'll give you a tool to make it a little bit easier. But this instruction is how this now knows how to reply. It also has conversation starters that you could change. Those appear right over here. There's four of them. And you could upload your own knowledge base, which we will look at in an upcoming example. And in this case, all these capabilities, I don't want them because this will help with speed. I don't want it to go browse the web. I want to just take what it knows from the text I'm about to give it. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of testing. I'll take this document about cloud projects. I'll copy this entire page and let's go ahead and paste that and get our LinkedIn post from that. Okay, here we go. It's writing the LinkedIn post, exciting development with Cloud AI Pro and Teams. Already I could tell I need to make a change because it says our vision for Cloud. I need to make sure this doesn't write it from the perspective of Cloud and just more news-like post. But overall, it's not bad. It's very, very long. So then what I would do is always keep these short and it will go ahead and make an update for us. So you just have to go back and forth. Sometimes I'll spend a couple hours to get it exactly dialed in. Once you do, it will save you hours a week every single week if you do this for things that you do repeatedly all the time. Like in this case for LinkedIn posts. Now, if I have it, every time I use it, it's going to be really easy to use. I don't have to give ChatGPT a perfect prompt, go back and forth. I'll just use this GPT for that. Now, to save it, once you're happy with it, go to the Create tab right over here, and you could go ahead and change who it's for. Invite only, this is private, so if I just want it for myself, I don't want to share it, that's fine. If you have a Teams plan, like we have a Teams plan here, you could go ahead and share it with the team. And then everyone that has access to the Teams plan could also use the GPTs that any team member makes if they're shared this way. Anyone with a link, that's great. I usually share them on YouTube videos with a link. Or you could put it in the GPT store that I showed you and anybody could find them if you do it that way. I have some that are public in the GPT store. I'll share one with you in a second. Now let's look at building cloud projects. So in order to build a cloud project, all we have to do is go to the projects tab over here and go ahead and press create a new project on top. Already you could tell this is going to be a lot more manual, right? We need to give it a name. There is no chat bot that's going to help us with that. And this is just a description for ourselves. At first, I thought this was the set of instruction. It is not. This is your internal note. So this is LinkedIn post generator, turn text into LinkedIn post. And right here, when you're inside, you have two main things that you could change and you have to do it manually. One is custom instruction, which is optional, but highly recommended. I'm going to go ahead and click here and you have to type in your custom instructions. Okay, now how are you supposed to come up with a custom instruction here? ChatGPT just build one using chat. So already I feel like this is far more difficult for people that haven't been using AI for months and years, right? You have to know how to give it a good set of instructions. You can keep it plain. You can say, keep it a professional tone. That could be all you put. But typically we want something more in depth. So I got a tool for you. I built a custom GPT that I put in the GPT store. It's totally free to use. So all you have to do is type in a basic prompt and it will turn it into a custom instruction that you could give to both ChatGPT and to Claude. I specifically build it for Claude since it's kind of hard to manually type those out. 
And by the way, every time you do review these in the GPT store, if you click on them and you go to the about section, you could see their rating. So, and you could see how many conversation each one had. So this one's been rated pretty well. So I think it, it's been working so far for people that have used it. So I'll put a link in the description if you want to use Claude, and then this will create the custom instruction for you. Okay, so I just said turn text into a LinkedIn post. And this prompt is a multi-step prompt. It's very detailed. You could pick and choose how much of it you want to choose. I typically like to keep all of it. And it gives you examples. So here's an input. I'm going to give you this text. Here's your output so it knows what kind of format to follow. Okay, so you're going to take this entire thing right here, copy that, and let's take it to Claude. So having that GPT is very useful. I use it all the time to do these kind of projects like this. And you can see I just paste them over here and save it. Now it knows exactly the format that I want because I give it an input output example of here's the type of text I'm going to give you. Here's the type of output that I want. So you do that first with your instructions. Again, optional, but highly recommended. Then your knowledge base, your project knowledge, you could add content, which is PDFs, Word docs, and things like that. We're going to compare that as our following test to see how well it reacts to a knowledge base. Okay, that's pretty much it. It's ready to go, right? So not many steps, not a lot of functionality, but more manual and more difficult. Okay, so when it comes to creating these from scratch, ChatGPT is obviously the winner. It's been around longer. It has more capability. There's a whole store, really easy to share, really easy to use the GPT builder with regular chat, but then you could use other capabilities. Ton of options I showed you that this just doesn't have yet. But let's go ahead and for our next test, see how well it actually responds to our custom instruction. All right, this time I'm going to start with Claude. So I'm going to just paste all that text. Now, this doesn't have any knowledge base, but it does have that very detailed set of instructions I gave it. And this, by the way, it opens up on the right side. This is called Artifact. It's something that only Claude has, makes it really easy to like preview things side by side. It's great for coding, for visual representation. You could turn it on in the settings. Okay, so let's take a look. This followed exactly the format I gave it. Exciting news, collaborating with Claude on projects. We're thrilled to announce a game-changing update. It did not do it from the perspective that we need. It's talking like we are Claude or we are Anthropic and we created this tool. That's not how I would do that LinkedIn post. So I do need to tweak that a little bit in the set of instructions. But overall, it did a really nice job. And the test was how well does it follow the instructions? And it followed it exactly right. It's the exact same format that I give it as an example, the tone is right, everything is right, except I just didn't give it one instructions, which is very easy to go back to that project and then go ahead and try it again. Now, let's test it in ChatGPT. Okay, here's all this text. Let's go to the bottom. Exciting news for AI collaboration at Claude AI, our mission is. So even though I tried to fix it already with the instructions, it still hasn't followed the instruction to not write from the perspective of Claude. Maybe I should be more clear about that, but utilizing 200K context window, about 500 page book. Okay, that's the knowledge base, that is correct. Okay, it did a good job overall pulling in the information. This could be a post that I put on LinkedIn, but I do have to go and edit that GPT one more time. So it's still making a mistake in following my instructions. And I just need to go back and forth a couple of times. So I noticed with GPTs, you just need to be patient in the building, but once you get it dialed in, it's an incredible time saver. So sometimes even if I spend an hour or two just going back and forth, refining them, I mean, sometimes you could spend five minutes, but I recommend you take your time, build these out. So as far as following custom instructions, I think it's about a tie right now. Now for this third test, let's see how well it does pulling in information or data from our own knowledge base. This is one of the best ways you could use these models. Give it a ton of different documents and have it let you chat with those documents, pull in information from those documents. They both could do that. So let's start with ChatGPT. Here, I already built this one, but you could do this while you're building these custom GPTs. But if you already have one built, just go and edit that GPT. It's gonna bring you to this configure tab. And if you scroll down over here, you could go ahead and upload documents to this knowledge base. Now, how much document can you upload? Well, it doesn't really tell you exactly how big of a document you could upload to it. I've uploaded one single file that was 100,000 words. It completely slowed down ChatGPT and it didn't tell me if it was over the limit. 
Claude, on the other hand, is going to show us something that's going to make it very easy to know when we hit that limit. Okay, now the knowledge base is all set. So I could go ahead and ask it a question. What is our number one core value? This is not on the internet. It has to pull it from one of those documents. And let's see, learner first focus. Okay, so it did pull that and it gave some information here about that. That could only come from one of those documents. I didn't tell it which one to look at. And it did do a good job. Which document was that from? Okay, mission and value statement. Recap our marketing plan, which again comes from a different document. Let's see, searching our knowledge base, right? That's what it's doing right here. Let's give it a second and it works. Okay, Netflix of AI education, target audience is correct, value, visual branding, tone and voice. Okay, perfect. This did a really good job recapping it. And just like any other chat inside of GPTs or chat GPT, I could get a one sentence summary, a recap, a table, any type of formatting I want to do, I could do it with a follow up prompt. Now, I've already built this one inside of Claude with our company policy. And here it's the same kind of thing. I could just press add content and upload the content, which I've already done over here. These are just the same Word docs. And what you see over here is a bar showing you how much more space you have. I'm only at 5% with these 11 different documents. So with this one, you could actually have a massive context window. I showed you that when we did our first test, 200K context window. Okay, once we do that, it's ready to use over here. I could ask it any questions and it will open up a new chat. Okay, let's see, learner first focus, but it named some other things here. What is the main one? Okay, learner first focus is doing a good job answering that. Recap our marketing plan. Okay, brand identity, Netflix of AI, marketing channels, YouTube, social media, SEO. Okay, great. It's done a good job just like ChatGPT. Now, I think they both have done a really good job. Obviously, I've used GPTs far longer than I've been using Claude projects, but I've really not had any limitations. So if I had to choose, that would be a tie for me between this specific capability. Okay, so which one should you pick? Because they both are gonna cost you. You do have to upgrade your ChatGPT or Claude plan to a paid version. In my personal experience, if you are new and you don't have the level of experience of using any of these for months, ChatGPTs, custom GPTs are far easier to set up and they do a pretty good job. And obviously ChatGPT, as you saw, had so many more capabilities. They could literally create images using Dolly. Claude can't ever make images, right? So it's just a lot more versatile. So if you're new, you want a lot of functionality, you want ease of use, that is gonna be ChatGPT and custom GPTs. If you are more advanced, and if you're doing any type of coding, especially with the artifacts function that I pointed out for a second, I've covered in different videos, that one is gonna be much better related to more advanced things. And Claude right now just does have a better large language model that is powering it. So I think you're gonna get better results as a more advanced user. You're gonna have less capabilities, less easy to set up. You need to know how to create a really good custom instruction for it to follow. So I guess the choice is really based on your use case, but hopefully I gave you enough information here. Now I'll show you one more resource. Inside of our platform, skillleap.ai, this is our membership and course platform. We do have a course. This is our second most popular course from all the courses we have complete custom GPT course. This one has the most views ever since it came out and I've recently updated it too. This one allows you to see our workflow and ton of different advanced things when it comes to custom GPTs. So if you're going to custom GPTs route, this is a course worth watching. And the way this platform works, if you haven't seen me mention it before, it's an all-in-one subscription platform. It has a free trial. You could jump in, watch some of the videos, and you get access to all these courses. So this one's our number one course, Ultimate Guide to AI, 71 videos. This one's our number two course, and we have private chatbot course, GPT course, all kinds of different things related to the top 20 or so AI tools that I think are most practical with complete workflows on how we do things internally too. So if you're an entrepreneur, marketer, content creator, a lot of these courses should be very practical for you. And I'm also right now working on a complete Claude course that we'll add here and you get access to that as well. So I'll link that in the description. Hopefully this was a useful video for you. I will catch you on the next one.